got going in. Just free, keep them off the boards and just limit them to one shot. What about offensively though? I mean, what was kind of the, was it just spread the ball around and get the best shot or was it kind of getting the, the cook down low? Um, I mean, just get into the playmaker's hands, which he is elegant. I mean, he's the leader on the team, so we wanted to put, you know, just put the game in his hands, and that's what we did, and it ended up pretty good for us. LJ, it looked like you guys had a tough time getting into your offense and getting uh, towards the end of the game. What happened there when you weren't able to score on several possessions? I mean, it was a, good, a great team. We just had a hard time figuring out uh, their zone. They played they play very well defense, you know. Casey, got, he tried to get some out of play, but once he broke down, like, where uh, the ball got to, he's going to make that for the teammates. The bench shot you hit to end the cold spell was obviously a big one. And you ever, I think you'd missed on the possession before, but can you kind of talk through that possession? Uh, yeah, I mean, that just read the defense, and I just took what he gave me. And, uh, you know, we all work on that shot every day in practice, so we, we get there confident. Jay has been saying that you guys, you know, were possibly not ready um, for this game, this type of game. I mean, what was to say about your team that you guys came out on top? Jay has been kind of saying that he wasn't sure if you guys were ready for this type of game leading up to this game. I mean, I mean, we always felt that with the right, I mean, the right practice that we had from Coach Altman and our coaches, that we always felt that we was ready. We just knew we had to go, knew we had to fight, you know, and rebound and defend. That's it. And that's what we did. Can you guys tell your your length defensively was a big impact for them? I think so, and our quickness. Uh, combined with our length with the big impact. They were way strong. They were strong. They got a lot of big bodies in there. But we used our length and our quickness to counteract that. So I think that was a big impact. I feel like Chris's shot blocking, just th his threat to do that was maybe in the back of their heads. It seemed like a lot of their shots were just really off. A couple of them, yeah. I, I, can, I can agree with you on that. Elgin, can you sum up where you think you guys are defensively right now compared to this early last season? Uh, I mean, last year was a completely different team. We got a lot of new... Players and trying to work them in, but uh, we just got to come prepared for these practices and get better. Dwayne, seemed like there's a lot of emotion out there. Today. What's it like to not only get a win like this, but to, you know, fourth game in, you've already got kind of a marquee win to boost some confidence and seem like for you guys this is a pretty good game. Yes, it was a pretty big game. I mean, it was a ranked, highly ranked team. We knew it was a real good team, and we just wanted to see where we were compared to them. Baylor hadn't given up 75 more points in 46 games. How'd you feel about putting up 74 against them? We just know that if we share the ball and we make the right plays, we know that we can put the ball in the hole. So that's what we just tried to do, and that's what happened. Elgin, what's a win like this do kind of early in the season for you guys? Uh, it's real big. I think uh, it gives a lot, of, a lot of confidence, but at the same time, like, you, know, you got to come to practice and work and get better tomorrow. How would it do for your confidence you knowing you can beat a team like that without <coughs> guys like Jordan Bell and Dylan Ennis? Uh, I mean, it's a real big win for us. We're confident as it is. and uh, Jordan and Dylan are great players, and we can't, we can't wait to get them back on the court. Elton, early, earlier in the week, you said last year there was a couple losses that kind of motivated you guys to kind of get you straight. I asked if you guys need that this year. You said hopefully not. So what does having a big win like this do kind of moving forward without having to you know, get a loss? Uh, it kind of set the bar up how good we can be defensively. So we just want to keep working at it and just want to improve and get better day by day. What clicked against their zone? A team like about 10 minutes in suddenly figured something out. Coming out of a timeout, I don't know if maybe coach said something or noticed something because all of a sudden I think he got four two point shots in a row and you've been shooting a lot of threes before that. We got a great coaching staff. They just uh, read the zone. They did a good job of using our sets and our team made, made, made it. Looks like you guys rebounded pretty well, especially towards the end there. How well, how well do you guys think you did on the inside against those big bodies? I think we competed real well. We could have uh, boxed out a little bit more on certain possessions. They had, they had a lot of offensive rebounds, so I know we could clean that up. But I think we competed and we just fought the whole time on, uh, on the board, which is one of the main important points for us. How's your shot feel with your hand? Huh? Uh, how's your shot feel with kind of uh, the, the blood vessel? Oh, I'm good. It's just, it's just precautions so I don't get hit again and you know, up. But uh, everything's fine. Is there any different plans happening on? Uh, not really. I'm kind of used to it now. It's been like two weeks now, maybe, so I don't even feel it anymore. What do you say about your expression? First, put someone like Tyler and Kendall coming in in this you know, type of situation and perform well. It helps them see what college is. I mean, this is probably one of the reasons why they came here most likely to play those games like that. And it helps them to see what the college atmosphere and, you know, college athletes is like. Because Baylor is a unique team, and we knew that coming in, and they showed it. So, I mean, it just helps them just to 
she want to, like you say, set the bar for how hard they know they have to play now. Because they're such a high scoring team, did Dana put a lot of emphasis on defense and pressuring the ball? Uh, yeah, he always does. Uh, Atlanta's a good offensive coach. And every day in practice, he just wants to work hard on the defensive team. That's our main focus right now, to be better defensively. We knew better was a great team that just put up a lot of points. And we just wanted to focus on defense and rebound. Andrew, what was the statement that the team made today? Uh, how hard we have to play every game. Like, you know, it was a great team. If we come in and play this hard every game, I think we did something to beat. Okay, anything else for me?